Hello, I'm Ramstad. I'm going to be doing this quick install of Mod Organizer 2. First, you want to download modorganizer2.exe. Then you want to download the build latest version of F4SC, the 7-zip archive. We're going to start by installing F4SC. So you're going to go up here, open the archive, and pull up your Fallout 4 directory and drag these files from the archive and put them into your Fallout 4 directory. You want to put it in the main directory, not inside of your data folder. And that's pretty much how you install F4SC. I recommend you install F4SC first before installing Mod Organizer 2. Okay. Here are your files. Um, just click the Mod Organizer 2 AC. I'm going to pull this over here and go through the installer. So, accept. I'm going to change my directory to D, because that's where Mines is located. I'm going to create a desktop shortcut. And just install. Okay, we're going to launch it. I'm um, creating a new instance. There, there's a global instance, and then there's a portable instance. And I'm going to click portable instance, because I put Mines on my external drive. Okay. If for some reason... Your game's missing from the manager. Go to your Fallout 4 directory and select the folder. And then press next. I'm just looking at this. You don't have to worry about it. Press next. And finish. Okay. So press no to tutorial. Since you're watching a guide. <laughs> and you should see F4SC in the right side. You're going to create a new profile. I'm going to put mine as Ramstead. With the default game INI settings. Okay. Then I'm going to pull up this notepad. So you just put this in your Fallout 4 custom INI file. In Mod Organizer 2, do not put it in the actual INI files in your game directory. Okay. So, if you look over here, I'm going to show you how to manually put F4SC if you don't see it or if you installed it afterwards. So, just click Add from File. Find the F4SC Loader, EXE. Re Renew it to anything you want and you would press Apply then OK, but I'm going to press Cancel because I already have it in my list. So to remove it from your list, you just click the minus. And a quick tip is when you're downloading mods manually and you want them to show up in MO2, just copy these mods or cut them and paste them into the downloads folder in your MO2 folder directory. Paste them there, load up Mod Organizer 2. And you should have a downloads tab for your mods now. 